Why are you going to college? Now, I know what you tell yourself and you tell your friends and your parents. You're going to college because you want to get a job. Okay, why do you want a job? I believe there are three levels of understanding why you're going to college that will help you make the most of your experience. And I think most people make it through level one. And a good amount of people make it through level two. Very few people actually succeed in reaching that third level, which is the most important. So the first thing is, why are you going to college? Most people are going to college because they want a job. Why do they want a job? Most people want a job because they want to make money, but they want to make money while enjoying their life. So you're going to look for a career that pays well and that is aligned with your interests. Okay, so we got that. And that's really helpful. Stage two is what job is going to get you what you want. And if you're good at math, for example, you might want to work in finance. If you're good at programming, you might want to work in tech or whatever it is. And you have time to think about it and you have people you can reach out to. You don't even know these answers your first day in college, but usually within a year or two, you should have a pretty good idea of the industry you want to work in. Very few people go as far as to ask themselves, okay, I know I want to work in finance. I thought about it for a while. I want to work in sales and trading or risk management. And now you need to ask yourself that third question, which is, how is my time in college going to help me best achieve my goal? And your goal is to get the job. Your goal is to get the job with a good firm. And your goal is to set yourself up for success in that career. Unfortunately, because people don't ask these questions and don't think it through well enough, as far as people get is, I'm going to take enough relevant courses that I can graduate and put stuff on my resume. It's so much more than that, though. So yes, courses are the most important, and get good grades, please. But college activities. I'm surprised how few people who come to me for coaching have the finance club or that they worked for some sort of trading activity within a college. There are, but it's very few. Um, I was the vice president of a math club in undergrad, mainly for title, although I do think it's good to be a part of it so that you can talk about the activities and how you've helped out. But even more than that, there are side hustles. Pretty much everyone I talk to in college, they're just doing random side jobs so that they can pay their bills or pay for their college. But there are so many things you can do that can really boost your future career. So let's go out of finance for a minute. Um, let's say someone's going for a career in physical therapy, okay? So you can have to get whatever degrees it is. I have no idea. This is completely out of my realm. But I do know that physical therapists hire students and even non-students to help people stretch their legs or whatever and pay them $15 an hour or whatever it is. So you'll make your side money. And you'll get years of experience working with a physical therapist. That's amazing on your resume. You can do this all over the place. You don't have to work for a top tier firm in finance to say that you've been working in finance for three years. You can find literally any company, any CEO, any startup and say, I'll help you with your spreadsheets. I'll help you organize your data. I'll help you calculate P&L or whatever it is. It doesn't even have to be in finance and you can call yourself a financial analyst and do it for years. Get paid minimum salary build up a lot of experience and, and be, quite frankly, pretty helpful. And you'll have a lot to talk about um, on interviews. You can put it on the resume and you could be just more equipped for a full-time job. So I think just asking this question, how is college going to help me achieve my goals, is extremely valuable and just not done enough. And no matter where you are, whether you're in your second year, third year, even fourth year in college, I want you to take a minute to think about that. Are you maximizing your time in college? And if not, maybe it's time to ask yourself or ask someone to help you figure out how to do that. Thanks and have a wonderful weekend.